Chapter 616, Special Power The 42nd Battalion was like a trade caravan in the remains. They took the chance while the soldiers of the sea had retreated to visit the other battalions and promote their bronze armor. Lu Xu said that he would give them a commission. There was another important condition. Lu Xu would not take back the bronze armor the 42nd Battalion was already wearing. Lu Xu understood that no one would work for him for free. The commission that he offered would make his comrades work harder. Furthermore, everyone was mentally prepared in terms of the bronze armor. After all, Lu Xu had already told them. He would let them wear the bronze armor for now. If Lu Xu was not around, how would they have gotten their hands on the bronze armor? Now that Lu Xu had proposed such a condition, it was the same as just giving them the armor. After they went back, they could hand the armor to the Heavenly Network and it would be considered as an outstanding military achievement. After much thought, Lu Xu felt that he could not take the bronze armor. It was different from the trident. It could immediately equip an elite company. To the Heavenly Network, it was a strategic weapon. If they could obtain a thousand sets of bronze armor, then the Heavenly Network could equip a practitioner's army made up of a thousand men. If this army faced another army of practitioners, they would be able to wipe out an army twice their strength. This number could increase if their enemies were secret practitioners. This was also why the Daoyuan class students needed more numbers to defeat the soldiers of the sea, who were of the same caliber as them. They would be evenly matched. From this point of view, these kinds of weapons were best left in the hands of the Heavenly Network. Mia Ting could not possibly allow these weapons to remain in Lu Xu's hands either. Lu Xu's perspective towards problems had changed too. When he was five years old, he did not want to be bullied by the other kids in the orphanage. When he was ten years old, he wanted to save some money to see the outside world. When he was fourteen years old, he wanted to use his savings to buy a pair of white shoes for Lu Xiaoyu. When he was 16 years old, he just wanted to survive. Now, the 18-year-old Lu Xu did not quite know what he wanted. He would do what he felt like doing. In all his years of living, no matter whether he relied on himself and did not steal, or the first time he rejected Li Xianyi's offer to teach him the way of the sword, or the time he had rejected Mie Ting's offer to make him heavenly king, Lu Xu had always wanted to have a clear conscience. This idea was stuck in Lu Xu's brain like an arrow. This was his sole guiding principle that lasted his whole life. He would rely only on himself and have a clear conscience. In reality, evil thoughts were like an ant hole on top of a dam. Many people felt that it was okay to commit small evils. But the ant holes would spread throughout the dam. It would eventually spell danger for the person. Some people from the 42nd Battalion had returned. Chen Bailey knew that Lu Xu was selling the bronze armor, but he did not pay any attention to it. If it were someone else, the bronze armor would have been confiscated. But the person selling the armor was Lu Xu. Chen Bailey decided to turn a blind eye to this matter. Who on this earth was not selfish? If he was not selfish, Chen Zuan would have no right to train with the Class A geniuses. Chen Bailey was not a saint. Neither did he intend on becoming a saint. Emo Chen Kong stood in front of Lu Xu and said, We had 78 sets of bronze armor left, but we could only sell 30 sets. We can't do much about it, as some students really have no money. Some girls are daughters of tycoons, yet they are not willing to buy either. Some girls who were in the same military training batch as us still expect to be protected by others, till now. Lu Xu was silent. Is it possible to make them buy the armor for the boys they like? After being stuck in this predicament for more than ten days, it's easy for them to form feelings for each other. Chen Zuan was shocked. Brother Xu, you are really good at making money. Will that work? Who would be so generous to give something so expensive to someone else? You never know if you never try, said Lu Xu. Go. Have this in mind when you approach the girls. In less than one hour, there was a new slogan on the island. If you love him, 
Give him a set of bronze armor and let him protect you. Seeing the 42nd Battalion sell the armor, a group of Daoyuan class students were rendered speechless. Were you really Daoyuan class students? But Chen Zuan did not expect that there would actually be girls who were willing to buy the armor. Are they all crazy? Chen Zuan was speechless. They were willing to give something worth 500,000 just like that. Lu Xu laughed buoyantly. If it were only a piece of armor, it would definitely not sell. But the problem is, it can help them boost their power. The Daoyuan class students are most troubled about how to break through to the next class. Many people are stuck at peak class D now. If you could receive a set of bronze armor that represents love and can boost your strength, why not? Which guy would not be happy to use others' money for their own benefit? There was a rumor on the island, the 42nd Battalion was not normal. It seemed as if someone abnormal had joined their ranks. Someone asked Chen Zuan how they had gotten their hands on the armor. Chen Zuan would answer exactly according to what Lu Xu had told them. As for whether others would be able to obtain the armor through their own means was none of their business. Lu Xu did not lose anything in letting this secret be known. If someone had indeed obtained the bronze armor, they would increase their chances of survival as well. From Chin Zuan's point of view, Lu Xu was half angel and half devil. He was making unreliable business even in this dangerous place. Yet, people did not doubt his kind-heartedness. This feeling made Chin Zuan so conflicted, he was about to explode. Mo Cheng Kong suddenly asked curiously, Zuan, has Brother Xu been like this all along? Chen Zuan sighed. If you were to encounter the past him, you would probably lose everything, including your pants. He's not too bad now. At least you have a set of armor that boosts your power. Mo Cheng Kong looked lost in thought. Zuan, I've heard that you often cozy up to Brother Xu. After all, Chen Zuan's attitude had been very obvious. Whatever Lu Xu did, he would do. Whatever Lu Xu let him do, he would do. Chen Zuan pondered deeply. He wanted to say, no, I'm different from you. But in the end, he sighed. Yes, I am, wait. I have always been curious about this. How have you been able to cozy up to Lu Xu all this time? Mo Cheng Kong was silent for very long. This is the ability I have awakened. I have never failed. Chen Zuan was dumbfounded. He opened his mouth to speak but nothing came out. He could only mutter one word. Amazing. Chapter 617, Surrounded by the Soldiers of the Sea Lu Xu was checking his gains from this journey. Suddenly, Chen Bailey landed from the sky, along with Cheng Chiu and his assistance force. Old man, why are you here? Lu Xu asked curiously. He slowly put the calculator in his hand into the seal of lands. When Chen Bailey saw Lu Xu's calculator, he raised his eyebrows. To be honest, he could not understand why Lu Xu would have such a thing in his invisible storage equipment. Chang Chiuqiao's assistance force has come to take over this line of defense, said Chen Bailey. Let them take over. Then what about us? Lu Xu was dumbfounded. You all will take over from Chang Chiuqiao to form part of the assistance forces. You will go wherever there are too many soldiers of the sea, said Chen Bailey. We will direct you where to go from the sky. Everyone was shocked. At first, those who had been chosen to be part of the assistance forces were the elite. Others could take periodic breaks, but the assistance forces could not. Furthermore, they had to go to the most dangerous lines of defense. This island was very big. No one know where the soldiers of the sea would attack from. Thus, the assistance forces played a very important role. At first, everyone admired Cheng Chiuqiao and his team. All those who were part of the assistance forces were acknowledged as the elites. But the 42nd Battalion, which was not particularly outstanding, had been chosen to exchange jobs with Cheng Chiuqiao and his team. Cheng Chiuqiao looked at Lu Xu and beamed with joy. Brother Lu Xu, I'll leave it to you. 
Chao Qingxi walked out from behind the crowd and said calmly to Lu Xu, we're relying on you. Typically, Chao Qingxi was very cold and did not speak. But it seemed like she was very familiar with Lu Xu. Lu Xu could not do much. Then I'll leave this line of defense in your hands. He knew that Chen Bailey had seen his strength, as well as the power of the more than 300 soldiers wearing bronze armor. The power they possessed while wearing the bronze armor was not worthy of just protecting one area. In times long ago, heavily armored soldiers were a synonym for low mobility. The soldiers who wore armor were like fortresses on land, but could not move quickly. But now, it was different. The people behind him would not be burdened, even with a load of more than a hundred kilograms. Lu Xu smiled. He turned to speak to Emo Chengkong and the rest. Shall we go? Emo Chengkong and the rest were fired up. They were energetic young people. Everyone wanted to do more during this crucial time. They wanted to gain more honor. This was like choosing a character in a game. Many young people liked to carry the match, but this did not suit their strengths. They wanted to play the most impressive role in the team. They had wanted to turn the tide in some era and save the world. At that moment, Chen Bailey suddenly flew up. Prepare for battle. The soldiers of the sea have come. It was as if the soldiers of the sea did not know the concept of fatigue. They continuously attacked in waves. Lu Xu was somewhat puzzled. Were there so many soldiers of the sea? How could they endlessly continue to attack? This did not make sense. He looked at the system's back end. It seemed as if a few people with the surname Ku had provided him with distress points. It would be great if he could find those who were providing him with distress points. Chen Bailey pointed the way. Southeast. The 42nd Battalion followed Lu Xu. A team of over 300 people maneuvered through the uneven ground of the island. It was as if a wave of blue soil was causing havoc. Not everyone on the island had seen this wave of bronze. When the Daoyuan class students in the southeast saw a group of people wearing bronze armor walking towards them, they shouted in despair, Brothers, we have been surrounded by the soldiers of the sea. We're done for, we're done for. Has the line of defense behind us been broken through? From Zhang Qian's distress, plus 999. From. Lu Xu's eyes lit up. So he could earn distress points by scaring others. What a reliable tactic. He had not shouted, comrades. And simply led the team to attack the soldiers of the sea because he had wanted to earn more distress points. Lu Xu felt that he would be able to earn enough distress points to light up the seventh star. The group of Daoyuan class students in the southwest looked at the battlefield in front of them, dumbfounded. Suddenly, a girl went wild with excitement. The soldiers of the sea have turned against their own kind. Did they have some internal conflict? This is like the crown prince and the prince fighting over the position of king. Now, the crown prince has sent someone to attack the prince's army. The boys by the side were confused. Who and who? Wait, have you guys realized? The faces within the armor are not blue. Someone shouted in shock. Suddenly, someone recalled the legendary 42nd Battalion, so they were comrades. What were all of you talking about? Emo Cheng Kong and the rest were puzzled. Why did Lu Xu not reveal his true identity? Was it because he was more cruel when he was silent? When Chen Zuan and the rest were selling the bronze armor, they explained how they had gotten their hands and the armor. But everyone felt that it must have been very difficult. After all, it was hard enough just defeating the enemy. When they saw the 42nd Battalion's smooth and experienced moves, they were dumbfounded. Some people were hitting the soldiers of the sea, while others dragged them into the crowd. Some were in charge of removing the armor, while others were in charge of the final blow. Everyone had their own role and efficiency increased. The soldiers of the sea were like products on a production line. Every time they went through someone, they would be stripped of something. 
After Lu Xu had killed the soldiers of the sea, here, he did not turn back and led the battalion elsewhere. The points of danger were constantly changing. Chen Bailey had signaled for them to provide support elsewhere. Even Chen Bailey's flying swords could not attend to each and every area in need. After the wave of bronze had left, the soldiers of the sea had been wiped out. The bronze armor that the 42nd Battalion had stripped were still lying on the ground. This time, Lu Xu did not take the bronze armor away and left the armor there up for grabs. He had earned 10 million just from this journey. If he earned any more, he may have to deal with Nye Ting again. It would be like back then, when Lu Xu transferred 500,000 every day. He could set a higher quota to transfer, but if he transferred over too much money, both accounts would be frozen. This was the problem of proportion. He had to work the proportion outright so that he would not have to be involved with Nye Ting. There was a period where what had happened on the southeast line of defense occurred several times over. A cycle of, oh no, we've been surrounded, and, oh wait, they are actually our comrades, happened again and again. Lu Xu earned more and more distress points. Lu Xu looked at the system's back end. He only had to earn a hundred thousand more distress points. Chapter 618, Lu Xu's Trump Card Just imagine it, how desperate it would be when you were sandwiched between hundreds of soldiers of the sea from both sides. It was said that when Lu Xu was having a good time earning distress points, a boy, thinking that they were about to die, bravely confessed his feelings to another girl. I only wish to leave the world together with you, though we did not have the luck to come to this world together. The girl, deeply moved, rejected him in the end. However, some stories had happy endings too. Chen Zuan heard a boy confess to another boy, and the latter accepted. Thus, mixed feelings welled up in their hearts when they realized the approaching team was their own comrades. Many people were wondering, how could the 42nd Battalion be so ridiculously unreliable and reliable at the same time? They were said to be unreliable because apparently they were scaring everyone off by dressing that way. Yet at the same time they were strong warriors. Under Lu Xu's leadership, they destroyed the enemy's formation leaving piles of bronze armor behind and no major injuries among their people. Hence, the team was regarded with a combination of respect and annoyance by their beneficiaries. Undeniably, though, the flood of bronze had gradually become the guardian angel that provided everyone with a sense of security. Nonetheless, some people could not catch up during the intense fight. It was not because of their low abilities, but exhaustion. After all, they had to run around continuously to provide help whenever needed. A soldier of the sea took advantage of this and stabbed a person's thigh through the slit in his bronze armor. Lu Xu immediately stopped and shouted, Man down. Protect him. By right, it was not a strategic move, because the slowdown could put the team at risk of being surrounded by enemies. But Lu Xu did not care about that. His people's safety took top priority. The 42nd Battalion immediately formed into a defensive circle with the injured man in the center. Emo Chengkong roared, carry the injured comrade and run on Brother Xu's command. In the meantime, more and more people of the sea encircled them from the outside. Emo Chengkong mumbled softly, God bless us. I don't want to die here. That was the most they could do. Even practitioners could not withstand a battle of such high intensity for five hours. Chen Zuan sneered. Die in the hands of these people of the sea? Oh come on, they are nothing in front of Lu Xu. No one dies today. Trust me. Emo Chen Kong was dumbfounded. He did not know why Chen Zuan was so confident about Lu Xu. At this critical moment, a ring sounded in between the heaven and earth. Beams of purple thunder or a blade shot out from Lu Xu's body. They exploded in the sky like the most beautiful fireworks, capturing the attention of everyone in the darkness. Ring. 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 In the center of the circular formation, Lu Xu closed his eyes, fully concentrated in attacking the army of the sea with his aura blade. 
he tried his best so that every beam could penetrate an enemy's unprotected skull. It was easy to focus on one target, but not so with too many targets simultaneously. Even Lu Xu could not do it perfectly. Inevitably, some aura blade missed the point and hit the bronze armor. Actually, Lu Xu himself had underestimated the power of the thunder aura blade too. Not only could they deal a direct blow to the enemies, they could also transmit electricity via bronze armor. His trump card, finally, Chen Zuan exclaimed, looking at the flying thunder aura blade. Lu Xu was also aware that the restoration of his aura blade took time, which made it only a trump card at the critical moment. Nonetheless, he also knew that his people were at their limits. Therefore, he would put a stop to the battle. All eyes were drawn to Lu Xu, who was focused on controlling the aura blade. At this instant, Chen Zuan suddenly shouted at the top of his lungs, Brave on! Don't disgrace our battalion! Kill them! In the next second, Chen Zuan was the first to dash out, his face looking fierce. All of a sudden, the trapped 42nd Battalion dispersed outwards and destroyed whatever that stood in their way. Only then did people learn about Lu Xu's true, terrific power. The army of the sea retreated back to the sea. Those whose skulls were punctuated had vanished into dust, but others who had been electrocuted could be dealt with later. After the intense fight, everyone of the 42nd Battalion was on the verge of breakdown under their 50 kilograms armor. All of them collapsed to the floor, the view of which caught other battalions in awe. Can someone please lend me a hand? I can't stand up. I'm freaking tired, someone shouted. I want it too. Never mind. We won't die with Brother Shu here. <laughs> we'll be dead if there's another wave of sea soldiers now. Don't worry. We have Brother Shu. Chen Zuan, lying on the ground, could barely move his head. Are you okay, Xueme? No response. Flurried, Chen Zuan yelled, Xueme? Where are you, Xueme? Brother Xu, help me look for Xueme. As he shouted, Chen Zuan mustered all his remaining energy and stood up. His armor clashed with his movement. At this moment, a small hand held his palm. I'm fine. I'm right beside you. Go on and have a rest. I need a rest too. You've changed my impression of you, Zwan. Someone shouted grumpily, you heard that? Blatant PDA1. That was followed by a wave of laughter. Everyone was in a miserable state, but they had won the battle. Other Daoyuan class students who had rushed over were dumbstruck by the scene. Lu Xu was still standing on the battlefield while the rest were on the floor. It was said that the leader determined how his team was like, and that was why Lu Xiaoyu could lead a strong, unbeatable team of girls. Then how about this team? What kind of leader did they have? Other people quickly supported Mo Chengkong and the rest to stand on their feet. They said with all sincerity, it was a wonderful fight. Chapter 619 New Situation after the battle, the 42nd Battalion had a few nicknames. The Flood of Bronze or the Debris Flow of Bronze. Mo Chengkong did not mind the nicknames. It did not matter whether they were seen as a flood or a debris flow. What was important, however, was that his team now stood out from the other battalions labeled only by numbers. The name recognized across the island instilled them with a sense of honor. When others were hoping to pull them up from the floor and officially express their gratitude, the members of the 42nd Battalion did not seem to appreciate it. For instance, Mo Chengkong stared into Wang Su's eyes peacefully and said, as the latter tried to lift him up, let me be. I'm fine, just a few body aches here and there. Let me lie down like this, can't you? Wang Su was speechless. They were good buddies after seven years of friendship. Hence, Wang Su sat beside Mo Chengkong to keep him company. Meanwhile, Chen Zuan, while holding Du Xueme's hand tightly, rejected all offer of helping him stand up. In the meantime, he had rejected all those that wanted to help Du Xueme too. 
Shuemi, on the other hand, lay quietly beside him as the time passed by. When the rest had recovered enough energy to sit up, Emo Chengkong asked, Zuan, by all rights your recovery should be faster than ours. Why are you still lying there? Having heard that, Du Shueme immediately drew her hand back. Chen Zuan sat up and glared at Emo Chengkong. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Lu Xu laughed. Get up, everybody. Dinner time. It was then that they realized the portion of food for that day was unexpectedly large. Someone asked curiously, why did they give us so much food today? The Daoyuan class student who was distributing food replied with a smile, you all have more food because you've done the most work. It was specially ordered by Heavenly King Chan, so enjoy your meal. Special treatment always made people happier because it showed respect. They received it happily as they knew they deserved it. At this moment Chen Zuan noticed Lu Xu had been silent. He asked, a penny for your thoughts, brother Xu? Lu Xu glanced at him and said, we can't keep on like this. I think there's something weird about the warriors of the sea, but I don't know why. At the end of the day, we have to obtain the relic so as to put an end to the remains. He could not mention the information he gleaned from the record of distress points. But instinctively Lu Xu felt that something was not right with the way they vanished into dust after death, and how the people of the sea surnamed Aku regarded their soldiers' lives so lightly. Every round of attack culminated in tens of thousands of lives lost on the side of the army of the sea. But there was no sign of them stopping. Could there really be so many fighters of the sea underwater? Lu Xu's determination to venture into the water grew firmer. Blessed with so many suitable strengths, it was as though he was the best candidate for the task. Do you think the people of the sea will give us the relic if we perform some sort of rituals like the rain dance in ancient times? Chen Zuan's imagination was running wild. Irritated, Lu Xu replied, don't be so ridiculously superstitious. In those days, they had to offer three pig heads before the rain dance. Will you offer your head to the Dragon King one? Eh? Lu Xu was suddenly reminded that there was a dragon residing in his Cheng Ying sword. Could he verify with him whether the rain ritual would work? Would the dragon get mad for this kind of stupid question? Emo Cheng Kong suddenly asked, Zuan, are you and Du Xueme officially together now? Chen Zuan replied shyly, I think so. Emo Cheng Kong said, Last time I liked a girl too, but I didn't dare to tell her. In the end, I took the initiative, but it was unsuccessful. She's a commoner, not a Daoyuan class student. See? You should learn from me, Chen Zuan said smugly, you can't be passive. Tell me how you took the initiative. I invited her to a movie, replied Emo Cheng Kong, but she insisted on meeting my parents. Chen Zuan was stunned. Meeting your parents? That's too early. What's her original sentence? Emo Cheng Kong said, distress all over his face, she said, watch your mother. Chen Zuan was speechless. Lu Xu commented. Ha! A girl of character. In the meantime, everyone was seizing the opportunity to take a good moment's rest, because it was uncertain when the next round of attack would begin. In their imagination, the people of the sea had always cast their eyes on the coastline. After this battle, many people had put on bronze armor. Yet, just as how Lu Xu had expected, few were lucky enough to have the complete suit. That would work well for Hai Gongzi's OCD, Lu Xu thought. Glancing around, he saw many tired, yet stronger faces. He had to admit that Nye Ting's aim of sending those students into the remains had been achieved. They were true fighters now, though more practice was needed. It had only been a year since the start of Daoyuan class, but a batch of talents had been nurtured in such a short duration of time. Training soldiers often came with a price. Until then, the death toll had risen to nearly 1,000, as the army of the sea was not an easy opponent either. Many young and colorful lives had already been lost. During this break time, people started reminiscing about their late friends and classmates. However, besides the grief, all they could do was fight on. 
may the deceased rest in peace, and the living, carry on with their duties. Now, the top priority was to end the battle as soon as possible. Chen Bailey descended from the sky and landed beside Lu Xu. What's your view on the relic? Nothing, for now. Hmm. Tell me when you think of something. Chen Bailey left after he finished the sentence. To everyone's astonishment, Chen Bailey had actually come to Lu Xu for advice. But Chen Zuan had become accustomed to it. At this moment, another wave of attack had commenced. But this time, all Daoyuan class students across the entire safety island could not there believe eyes. My goodness. Is it because of that debris flow of bronze? What the heck? New forces? Close to a third of the invading soldiers of the sea were half naked, without bronze armor nor tridents. Chapter 620 Black Armored Soldiers Lu Xu stood at the highest point on the island and looked at the shirtless soldier of the sea. He gasped in shock. Is this soldier of the sea so poor to this extent? It can't be, right? Can't you understand why they are poor to this extent? Chen Zuan chided Lu Xu but did not dare to be so unbridled. Mo Cheng Kong sighed with emotion. Zuan, I sense your strong urge to survive. Come, say what you're feeling. Go away. Chen Zuan said unhappily. He had said before that he could not have much confidence when talking about these kinds of things with Lu Xu. The most annoying part about the soldiers of the sea was their bronze armor. The Daoyuan class students used up a lot of energy just trying to kill them. Now that this soldier of the sea was half naked, the Daoyuan class students did not know what to do. When the soldiers of the sea wore their armor and attacked, they were very frightening. They gave off an aura that they could not be messed with. But now, the Daoyuan class students were all very sacred that this half-naked soldier of the sea would start to drink beer. Was it appropriate to fight while half-naked? Lu Xu had not received Chen Bailey's signal as to where they should provide support. Thus, he took the time to figure out the clues he had received in the remains. What made Lu Xu puzzled was that, even your armor was gone. Who are you trying to fight? But, these kinds of soldiers of the sea came to attack once every five hours. The person controlling them did not care whether they died or not. This was strange. Even if you had many soldiers of the sea, you could not just send them ashore as if you didn't need them anymore. But what if, those soldiers of the sea did not die? Lu Xu pondered deeply. When the soldiers of the sea died, they would turn into dust. He had thought that the dust was their corpse. But what if that was not the case? At first, no matter how many people of the sea they had killed, they would reappear with the bronze armor on their bodies. Now that the debris flow of bronze had circled the island, the soldiers of the sea stopped wearing their bronze armor. It was as if they were mindlessly exhausting the students on the island. If it were Lu Xu, he would feel bad for the soldiers. But what if the soldiers really did not want money? If the soldiers of the sea could regenerate on the seabed every few hours, or use the energy in the world of the remains, or manage to do so through some other way, all these were not important. What was important was that if they could really regenerate, then in the future, all the soldiers of the sea would attack half naked. The Daoyuan class would not be able to take it anymore. But Lu Xu estimated that the person controlling the soldiers of the sea did not expect that someone would strip them of their bronze armor. He looked at the system's back end. There were many distress points from the surname Ku. The soldiers of the sea attacked in waves. Although everyone could take a break in between, but these few hours were simply not enough. There was not even enough time to sleep. If this continued, the Daoyuan class students on the island would grow more and more tired. Their fatigue from the previous wave would carry on into the next wave. This would pile up and the Daoyuan class students would eventually collapse. How should we do this? Lu Xu asked. He did not know whether his judgment was correct. But he had to think about the worst-case scenario. Let's go and kill the soldiers of the sea, said Lu Xu calmly. 
Although one-third of the soldiers of the sea were half-naked, and this reduced the stress on the line of defense, but this did not mean that people did not need their assistance and they could slack off. Furthermore, Lu Xu had a bold plan. Out of selfishness, Lu Xu brought the flood of bronze towards the 1st Battalion, where Lu Xiaoyu was. After all, it was the same no matter who they helped. Why not help Lu Xiaoyu? But when they approached the 1st Battalion, Lu Xu realized that Lu Xiaoyu and the rest had already killed all the soldiers of the sea. Lu Xiaoyu had still sighed. What is this? They don't feel like they're from the sea. Someone asked, what does the sea feel like? Lu Xiaoyu replied, edible things like lobsters and oysters. We can't eat the soldiers of the sea. What an embarrassment to the sea. The people around her were speechless. Food was indeed the pride of China. Under normal circumstances, it was easy for invasive species to become a natural disaster. Lobsters were considered an invasive species, thus they had to be reared by farmers. This was an embarrassment to imported goods. At that moment, a hundred soldiers of the sea in black armor appeared from the waters and charged forward. The black armor was new and shiny. It could not be compared to the bronze armor. The soldiers of the sea carried a huge long sword. The blade was very sharp. It was as if it could take a life with just one slash of the sword. The hundred soldiers of the sea clad in black armor were in precise coordination with one another. The sound of their footsteps was heavy and neat. It was like the sound of a war drum. They were out for the kill. From far away, Lu Xu could not determine their exact strength, as their waves of energy merged together. Let's go. I'll break up their formation. Lu Xu led the flood of bronze to attack. Lu Xiaoyu was there. He had no reason not to go. For some reason, when the flood of bronze rushed forth, the black armored soldiers stopped and returned to the sea before Lu Xu and his team came. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. Did they just leave after that show of power? Did they not want to attack? Are they afraid of being attacked? Chen Zuan asked and surprised. Could it be that they did not mind being hit in their bronze armor, but nothing could happen to their black armor? Only this explanation made sense. Lu Xu suddenly brought his team to kill the soldiers of the sea at the neighboring line of defense. Everywhere the flood of bronze went, they killed their enemies as easily as crushing dry weeds and smashing rotten wood. The ordinary soldiers of the sea also started to retreat back into the water. This kind of attack came fast and ended fast. Many lines of defense had also quickly fought off the attack from the soldiers of the sea. It's more relaxed this time. It looks like we can rest for now, said Mo Chengkong. Why did those soldiers of the sea wear black armor? I feel that we have to report this to Heavenly King Chin. We can't lower our guard, someone said. Suddenly, someone asked in shock, wait. Where is our captain? Mo Cheng Kong was no longer the captain, Lu Xu was. Ever since they had become part of the assistant forces, everyone silently accepted Lu Xu as their captain. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty Man, we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 